What's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Andres Colin here. I showered, so that's a great thing. Today I'm gonna show you, or no, not show you, but tell you five tips to make the most out of your gig. Let's run that intro. <laughs> Tip number one, lock your car in between trips, from your car to the stage, back and forth. It takes a little extra time because, you know, you have to close the trunk and, you know, we have full hands with uh, guitars and gear. For a couple years, I didn't lock it. I, I would just leave the, the trunk wide open, put my guitar away and come back until one day. I was actually leaving the gig, so I went to, uh, to the car from the stage and I put my guitar in the passenger seat. I left it unlocked. Then I went back in, I grabbed my car, I, I, I was pulling my gear back to the car. When I get there, my guitar is gone. It's not in the passenger seat. Someone was watching me. I know, it's creepy. They knew how I put away my stuff, like they knew my timing and everything. So they waited for me to go back in to grab my guitar. This was a horrible thing. I mean, you can imagine my baby, my guitar. How could anyone do that to anyone, you know? I don't wanna cry right now in front of you. I learned my lesson, always lock your car. Tip number two, and you may not like this one that much. Leave your house early. It's easy to say. You're like, oh, it's about time to go. And then, oh, I'll be fine. And, and then 10 minutes go by, 20 minutes go by and suddenly it's super late and you're running to get dressed and to get out of the house and you're saying goodbye to your children if you have any. The best way to do this is to set a time. Set a time where you know that's the time, the limit in which you can leave. For example, if your gig is at seven and you gotta be there at six, it takes me 30 minutes to get there, so I'm gonna leave at 5.30, but that's my limit. In other words, I'm gonna start getting ready beforehand at around five maybe, so I know that exactly at 5.30, I gotta be leaving my house. I gotta be in my car and leaving. Sometimes just trying to figure out what time is actually making you waste time. And it's super important to me to leave early because I wanna have my time to set up the, the gear like I want to set it up and also uh, spend enough time equalizing and balancing the volume of my music. Because if you're a performer, you know how it is. If you don't like your sound or your volume, you're not gonna enjoy your performance because you gotta enjoy it before the people can enjoy it. If you're having a good time, if you're loving your sound, people are gonna respond to that and they're gonna like it. Tip number three, use a pedal board. I see often musicians that don't have a pedal board. They just set one pedal here, one pedal there, one pedal over here. Number one, it looks messy. Number two, it takes longer to set it up. You have to plug each pedal separately. Why, if you can avoid this with a little pedal board? It's so easy to just get it out of the little bag or box, your pedal board, and then just plug it to the power and plug in your guitar to it, and you're good to go. You know exactly where your pedals are in front of you. They're always at the same distance. So without looking at them, you can quickly hit the pedals that you need. For me, it's been a lifesaver to have my pedal board. It just saves me so much time and it looks great too. Tip number four. Bring your own rug. People always make fun of me when I'm packing up my gear and I start rolling my rug and they're like, what, you bring your own rug? And I always make a joke about it like, oh yeah, you know, it's, this is my vehicle. I'm about to go fly or whatever. And a couple of reasons why I think it's important to have a rug. Number one, it will keep your stuff from sliding, like your pedal board. Also, when you don't have a rug, you're just guessing where you're gonna put your microphone and where you're gonna put your pedal board. But when you have a rug, it's way easier to know where to place everything in relation to each other. And you know how there's always someone that wants to get super close to you to tell you something? When you have a rug, it kind of limits how many people do that. It kind of sets boundaries for yourself. And the tip number five, use covers for everything. I use covers on my speakers, I use covers on my guitar stand, on my microphone stand. I use a hard shell case for my pedal board, a hard shell case for my bow system. Because when you have everything in covers, it will last way longer. And also when you get to a gig, you're full of energy, so you're careful when taking stuff out of your car. But when you're done with the gig, it's so easy to be a little more rough with your stuff. But if you have everything in covers and cases, you'll be good to go. Bonus tip, buy a cart. 
I know you, you may want to act all tough, like, oh, it's okay, I can carry my speakers. Yeah, but you're gonna be way more efficient and faster at loading and unloading when you have a cart. You just throw everything on it and then push it and you're good to go. Also, not always you're gonna get VIP parking. There's gonna be times where you park a block or two away. So when you have a cart, you can quickly get in and out of the venue. So there you have it, guys. Your five, no, six tips. And don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have a minute, you can go watch this one right here. Bye, guys. I'll see you soon.